Once you've mastered Yoru, you can use his tech to do any ability. Stay tuned to learn more. Yoru can also breach flash, and he can do that by triple flashing. If you want to show me what you think that is. All right, it's got to be like clone, flash, flash, or like some type of combo of those three. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking this. Decoy. Okay, not bad. So instead, you can have the clone anchor down. And then you throw your or you throw your first flash, then send the clone out. They'll shoot the clone again, thinking it's you swinging off your flash. And then you can go for the third flash. It's much more effective okay. that way. I'm right. You oh, know he was so blind. One enemy remaining. <laughs> Yoru can also KO ult by using your clone to tank other ultimate abilities like deadlock ult or raise ult or any ultimate that you can counter with your clone is essentially a KO ult as if you were suppressing them. So I'm going to fire my ult at you if you want to attempt that. This one's pretty easy. Perfect. Yeah, exactly like that. My territory, my rules. I have them now. One enemy Yo! <laughs> Yo! The clone to stop the deadlock gold? Are you kidding? That was so insane. Next, we'll do the Yoro Grimo. Do you know how to do that? Alright, let me put the. Uh, I put clone okay. down. Right. And then spawn the clone and then put my teleporter oh, down right. and then yeah. teleport. Close. So it's like, it's the right idea. Inside your clone, you can't actually place the teleporter on top of things by just looking up, you have to jump with it as well. So if you see here, like whenever I'm standing, I can't just like jump and place it down. You actually have to like physically jump. And whenever you're jumping, you'll see your little teleporter icon. And then once you see that, then you can right click and place it to jump on top of things or grim wall on top of things. Let's go. Nice, let's go, man. For this next tip, I want to address the negative criticism my masterclass has been getting. You don't have the money for it and can't afford it. Well, you're in luck because Yoru can actually make you money now by using free cash. Wait, what? Free cash? Wait, what's that? So free cash is basically a website where you can do surveys or play games and apps, and it can make you money for it. That you can then cash out for Valorant cards or PayPal money and use it to pay for the masterclass, for example. How do I even like sign up for something like that? Yeah, so uh, click the link in the description for those of you watching, or you can go to freecash.com. Whenever you're signing up, just make sure to use code Rob because whenever you use my code, you get a free gift box that's worth up to $250. So just for signing up and using my code, you get some free money to start with. All right, you said use code Rob. Let me open up this case, see what I get. Oh, I was so close to 250. So I see like a, like a bunch of games here. Uh, the highest one I see is 268 called Ant Legion. Click Ant Legion, and then it's going to show a QR code on the screen. Okay, so I just click Earn. Oh yeah, here's the QR code you're talking about. Yep, scan it with your phone. It should install the app. All right, I scanned it. It is installing. Oh, I just got it. Reward. Did you get it in your account? Yep, I see it right here on my account. Reward, 39 cents. Exactly, yeah. And then once you do it enough times, you can actually go to the cash out page. Yeah, okay, it's cash out. I see it, cash out. Yeah. You see like PayPal, there's Valorant cards, League of Legends. I have some money in my account that I've already made from some apps. So I'll just do a PayPal one here. I'll just do five really quick just to demonstrate. You hit withdraw and there we go. The money is already sent to my PayPal. They also have over 30,000 reviews on Trustpilot. So be sure to tell all your friends about free cash as well. Cool, yeah. And everybody watching can also do the same thing and save up for free Valorant cards or PayPal if you want to join the masterclass. Uh, all for free by just using free cash. So make sure to sign up using code Rob. Next, we're going to do Yoru performing the Jet Updraft, if you want to attempt that on this box here. Let me see. Maybe... So, obviously, it's got to be a clone. Um... I'll return. Okay. When you're standing inside of the clone, it only works on boxes that are, like, one rating night box high. So, let me show you how to do that. Jump and right-click the clone kind of at an angle towards whatever side of the box you want to be jumping for. That way, whenever you activate it, it runs towards you. You know what I'm saying? At a like, okay. faster. So that looks something like this. Decoy. I usually get in the corner here and then do like one jump to the left and then activate it. And then look on top of the box, jump inside That's of it, 
and then right click it up. Yeah. And you're on top, you got the, the Yoro updraft. Yoro can also sage slow people, and I do this by pixel flashing if you want to attempt that. Let me see. Okay, I mean, not quite. So, if I was a really good player, I could 100% turn away from that uh, because you didn't hide the travel time fully. So, to get the pixel flash off, you're hiding the travel time of the flash entirely behind a surface. And when it pops, it's like literally just a pixel within line of sight of them to where it's completely undodgeable and they can't turn away from it. You bounce it off the wall directly to your right, and then while it's traveling, it's being completely covered by this wall. It barely yeah, just pops barely right on the that. edge of this. Yeah, and so like in the heat of the moment, it's completely undodgeable. Yeah. 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 Oh, did it work? Join the Yoro Masterclass. Yoro can Phoenix Flash by doing the reverse flash. So go ahead and attempt that for me. All right, let me see. It's like this. Yeah. Um, no, that, that's that's a normal pop flash. So for the reverse flash, what you would actually do is do the same kind of thing, but just in reverse. So you want it to still kind of pop and make it undodgeable, but just off the back wall. It's more stylish than anything. So instead of it doing off this wall like this, you do it like this instead. Oh, okay. That's the clone. Come on, man. Yoru can also use Sova Dart do you, with his clone. Do you want to explain to me or kind of attempt that? I'm guessing it means like getting info somewhere with just your clone. Sometimes with a Sova Dart, you can tell, even if it doesn't scan them, you can tell where an enemy is based on where they shoot it from. So the same thing with Yoru clone. Let's say it was like a 1v1 and I wanted information back site. Well, I would send a clone back site for information. And then whichever direction my clone is facing is where I know they shot it from. I see. So you know they shot it from behind this truck and not over here behind this, these boxes. Exactly, yeah. And what's good about this is that you don't even have to be looking at the clone for that information. So a lot of people don't pay attention to this, but you can even do this like across the map and stuff. Like you can send your clone out and then like look at the mini map and it'll show you what direction your Yarrow clone is facing and where it was shot from on the mini map. So... Very, very useful. Very, very strong for macro plays. Ah, there's the off crutch. There's. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And if you want to master Yoru, join the masterclass. Link in the description.